we are introducing a revamped Jetheam Core dashboard with a tree view for templates. This makes navigating and managing your templates and conditions smoother and more intuitive than ever. In this video, I'll walk you through how it works and why this update is unlike anything you've seen before. This is Julia from Crocoblock, and now let's jump right in. Once you update the plugin to the 2.3 version and open Theme Builder, at first you'll get a notice that offers to convert legacy conditions to new ones. For now, I will click this button and we will take a detailed look on it a bit later in this video. So the new tree view of the condition nodes displays the website structure hierarchy. Of course, you will be able to switch back to the grid view by pressing the corresponding button right here. Now let's start exploring the updated dashboard. Except for these two buttons, there are also such options as filter by tree levels and view size. So if you have a pretty big website and there are lots of different plugins, pages and templates, you can easily filter or adjust the size to make it smaller and more convenient. So what about the new tree view and what's so special about it? It completely changes how you navigate and manage templates and conditions. Instead of a cluttered grid, you get a clear, structured hierarchy that makes finding and organizing templates effortless. This means faster workflow, better organization, and a much more intuitive experience. Whenever you add a new plugin like WooCommerce, JetBooking, or JetAppointment, everything will be displayed here in the tree view. That's a CPT properties, and here it is in the structure, as well as the CPT taxonomies. This view isn't just about structure, it also brings visual clarity. Different colors help distinguish templates at a glance, for example, archives are orange, single pages are blue, and so on. But you've probably seen it in the grid view. Now the tree blocks might have the same title like let's say the archives, but to easily differentiate it, you can navigate by these top titles. And there are also different box styles to give you instant insights. Solid colored boxes mean that it has a template, and the number inside it basically means the number of assigned templates. Dashed lines indicate that nothing is affecting it. But when you add a template for, let's say, the entire site, it will hierarchically affect the whole website, so now everything has solid line boxes. So there are three styles and it makes everything way easier right from the first glance. And legacy templates have a grey color. It means that the updated plugin displays once created legacy conditions even if there are no templates. So if you hit convert legacy conditions, you will see what each one was responsible for. For example, all these taxonomies were in this legacy one, product CPT was CPT archive, and these single ones were legacy CPT single. The plus sign lets you create a template even faster, and what's really cool, it automatically adjusts conditions. Let's say you want to add a template for properties single of the purpose taxonomy, and here it already says singular properties and then you just have to select the post. It literally took me a couple of seconds. By the way, you don't have to go back to add a new template by clicking the plus sign. Once you are redirected to the templates page, you can just press create a new page template right here. And besides, this sort of a breadcrumb navigation at the top of the templates page is also one more great feature because it provides a clear context on where you are within the tree structure. Instead of getting lost in multiple layers of templates, you can quickly see the hierarchy and navigate back with a single click. The node preview button lets you preview the node on the front end. It's convenient because whenever you make adjustments, you can preview the result right away. Every level in the tree view has a dot next to it, allowing you to quickly expand or collapse sections to the needed levels. This means you can focus only on what you need, keeping everything organized. 
I also wanted to mention the expanded list of advanced options of conditions that were implemented with the previous updates. Now there are also mobile OS, where you can specify the needed operating systems. Then mobile browser. And also WP option that allows templates to be displayed on certain settings stored in the options table. Besides, you can also specify the relation type when adding two or more conditions. Last but not least, the new tree view is a purely visual enhancement that makes managing templates easier without impacting your site's performance. Whether a template exists or not, the tree view just represents it visually, helping you understand your setup at a glance. There is no impact on speed or functionality, just a smarter way to navigate everything. We hope this feature will streamline your workflow. Let us know what you think in the comments and don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more updates. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.